we thank God for being here today, for his goodness, amen, his loving kindness, all the things that he has done for us, amen. amen. We thank God that he allowed us to be here today, amen. amen, and we thank God that he has allowed you, amen, to come in and be present with us on today, amen. amen. We thank God that God has blessed you to be a witness to the word of God. We ask you to come in and help us praise God. Amen. And thanks again for tuning in with the Straightway Church of Christ, written in heaven of Belle Glade, Florida. Amen. We're located in right now. Our, uh, you can reach us. Our mailing address is 1127 Chimp Street in West Palm Beach, Florida, 33401. Amen. Again, 1127 Temp Street in West Palm Beach, Florida. Amen. You can reach us by mail there. If you desire to call, amen, area code 561-351-4881. Area code 561-351-4881. Amen. We will touch and agree with you that the will of God will be done in your life. Yeah. Amen. That whatever you need, amen, God will meet that need. Amen. Not us, but God will meet that need. We will touch and agree with you that the will of God will be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let us pray, amen, for, amen, the sick and the shut in. Amen. Pray for families that have lost family members. Amen. And just pray that the will of God is done. Amen. And that he will keep us. Amen. Walking in the right path. Amen. And we thank God for his goodness. We thank God for everybody that decided to come. Amen. And we count it a blessing just to be in the house of God. Amen. And let's remember, pray one for the other, that the will of God will be done in our lives. I know prayer change things. I know prayer change things. Man ought to always pray, never faint. I know prayer change things. I know prayer.
bless and prayer for, amen, the people all over the world. Amen. amen. We're living in a time where they don't want to hear the word of God. Amen. But let's pray that God will change hearts and minds and lead them to the Lord. Amen. Pray and ask and pray for <coughs> my children. Amen. And amen. Uh, my grandchildren. Amen. For the children everywhere. Amen. Let's pray that the parents will be examples for the children. Teach them how to live holy. Amen. Teach them that it's right to be saved. Amen. Let's pray sincerely for that. Amen. And ask a prayer for a man, Jewish general. Amen. That God will continue to keep them. Touch a mind. Give a strength. Amen. And give her a mind to live over. Amen. Let's just pray for the Bates family at large. Amen. For uh, for Grandma that God will continue to keep her mind. Amen. We're asking God to do the miraculous. Amen. Help us, not just them, but help us to live holy. Yes. Amen. Because I'm living to live again. Yes. Amen. That's my testimony. I'm living to live again. Yes. Amen. The only way you can do that is to live holy. Yes. Let's pray one for the other. Yes. Amen. And believe that God is going to do what he says. Amen. Sweep over oh, my soul, sweep over oh, my soul, sweet spirit, sweep over oh, my Sins, iniquities, or transgressions, God. 
God, we ask you to God to just strengthen us where we're weak at, Lord. Yes, Lord. Build yes. us up where we're torn down, God. Yes. Father God, we ask you, God, to break all the strongholds, yes. God. Yes. In the name of God, Jesus we ask you, God, right to just strengthen yes. us on hold, on a yes. whole Lord. 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 Father, we can we can do all things, God, oh, through yes. Jesus Christ oh, that yes. strengthens us. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, we just ask you, God, to just touch us, God. Strengthen us on the day, God. Father, we ask you, God, to just come in on the day, God. Have your way in the service, Lord. Father, we ask you, God, to heal someone. Set someone free, Lord. Father, we ask you, God, to just have your way in the service, Lord. Father, we ask you, God, to just bind up anything that is not of you, God. We ask you, to just just for moving right now. In the Lord. name of Jesus. God, we ask you, Lord, help us get on one accord, Lord, God. Lord. God, we ask you, God, to just help us. Yes, Lord. Help, help praising you become easy. In the name day, of Lord. Jesus. Father, we ask you, God, to just Lord, anoint the service on the whole, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask you, God, so God, we just thank you, God, thank for you. having your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we ask you, God, to just go to every every respect at home oh, in God. the name God, of Jesus. move in our homes God. in the name in of Jesus glory to God have Lord just have your way have your way God have your way oh, God, God there's so much going on Jesus. Lord Hallelujah. so many are falling by the wayside God. Thank you, Jesus. Father we just thank you thank God you, for just strengthening us God, oh, God. God helping thank us you, on this thank journey. you thank you God. Father thank we thank just thank you Jesus. Jesus. God, we just thank you, God. Thank you, just, Jesus. just, just magnify your name, Lord. Lord God. God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we, we just yes. praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. And ask you to have your way in this. Have place. your way, God. Have your way. Father, there's so much need to be done. And we, we just thank you for doing it now. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we just praise you and magnify you and give you all the honor and the glory. In your Son Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm pressing on, on, all I know. I'm pressing on, on everywhere I go. I'm pressing on. in the hope 
that you will do such things for me. I would rather die than have anyone deprive me of the boast of being self-supporting. Paul was careful for not to take support from the Corinthian, even though it was his right as a minister of the gospel. Instead, he knew their problems with generosity and showed them a great example of living for Jesus without obvious and instant rewards. Often we must show our values before others and share them with us. Paul was a master at reading the needs around him and living in a way that was an example. He then would call them to follow his example as he followed the example of Christ. I hope this word was edifying to your souls. Amen. Amen. The chimes of time bring out the news. Another day is through. Someone slipped and fell. Was that someone you? You may have asked for added strength, your courage to renew. Don't be discouraged, for I bring a hope to you. It is no secret.
I'm going home when this whole world is over. I'm going home when this world is over. I'm going home when this world is over. I'm going home. Yeah. 
teaching the word. Yes. Give us what to say. Yes. How to say it. That people will be saved. People will come to you. They will see you in our lives. Then they will feel you as we speak of your goodness. Do it now, God. Do it now, God. Oh, bless your name. Bless your name, Jesus. God, we want to be examples for you. We live in it every day like it's our last. Yes. For God, we don't know when you're coming. But you said be ready yes. at all times. Oh God, we said thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Now God, we thank you for your word. God, don't let it go out for it. Oh, God, let it touch hearts, yes. minds, yes. get all in the spirit. Yes, Lead them to you in the name of Jesus. And we say yes to your will, yes, Lord. to your word. Yes, Lord. Just have your way. Have your way in your word today. And we say thank you for what you've already done and what you're yet doing. And God just move. Move in the congregation. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, touch every mind. Yes, Lord. Every heart, God. Yes, Lord. Work miracles. Yes. Speak to our minds. Yes, Lead us and guide us in the way you would have us to go. Oh, yes. Oh, in the name of Jesus. And God, whatever you do. We say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You touch me. Oh, he, he touched me, and oh, 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 the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now
Amen. Not only did it touch you, oh God, He let me know He's with me. He let me know it's nothing too hard for Him. The devil did everything he could to stop the service today. Now I understand. Glory to God. God want to do something for us today. Thank you, Lord. And the devil tried to stop you from receiving. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Said what? We ought to 
be able to get along with other people. Some of us that we save, you see you coming, you got look like you got rocks in your jaws. Mad before you get there. What you think you're doing for other people? The word wants us to be a light. Amen. 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 We're going right on in the word. Amen. Amen. We're going to give you, be coming from two scriptures today. The first one is 2 Corinthians 10, verses 4 through 5. Today. Uh -huh. 
the thought we want to leave with you is bury the past and move on to be qualified. Amen. But you got to forget the junk that's behind you. Amen. You got to bury it. Let it go. You need to bury it before you move on. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the devil going to always bring it back up to your remembrance if it's not buried. Mm -hmm. But once you bury it, then you're able to move on. Amen. And you can be qualified. To meet the Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, pulling down a strong yeah. casting down imaginations, bring it into captivity. Every th thought. That's what God is saying today. Mm -hmm. Today, God has given you the power. To pull down those old strongholds. I don't like this one. I don't like that one. I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. But today God has given you the power to pull down those old strongholds. What people did to you. What they said to you or about you. He said that we're going to pull down the strongholds that have ruled our lives. It's time to let them go and move on. He's given you authority to cast down those imaginations that have had such influence over you. You thought you couldn't let them go. You thought you had to do this or that. And bring into captivity every thought that doesn't line up with God's will. He gonna bring them down. But he said, bury the past and move on to be qualified. You got to let it go if you want to line up with the word of God. He said that he's going to bring into captivity every thought that don't line up with him. Everything that the devil bring up that don't line up with his word, he's going to cancel it. And he has to do that before you can move on. If you don't, they refuse to relinquish it. They'll hold on you. Every time he tried to do something good, he thought it of bring it up in your mind again. Amen. Why? Because they got a hold on you. Things that you did in the past. God doesn't forgive you. But the devil bringing it up in your mind. Trying to have a hold on you. God would not do this. He can't do it without you. You got to bear it and move on. But he will do it through you. You got to bear it. You got to bear the past. What happened in the past is not going to help you today. Bear the past and move on. If you want to be qualified to go with God. Old thought patterns well, and unhealed wounds will always try to reestablish control over you. Mm -hmm. You know you did this. Mm -hmm. You know you did that. Mm -hmm. You know you hurt this one. You hurt that one. Mm -hmm. It's time to bury it. And move on. Yes. Be careful who your friends are. <laughs> Sometimes we say friends and they are not our friends. My Lord. If they can barely stay afloat themselves, how can they lift you up? My Lord. Think about it. How they gonna help you up and they down themselves? Oh, Lord. What you need is release. Yes. 
Let them go. Don't try to reinforce what God hasn't set before. As long as these old issues reign in your life, they're going to control you. But bear it the past and move on. Christ's seat is safe. We can't go up in heaven and take Christ's seat. If they are on the throne, then Christ is still on the cross. Put Christ on the throne and your past on the cross. Yes. Y'all hear me? You got to let it go. In the Old Testament, a priest could not come into God's presence if he had touched anything dead. That's according to Numbers 19 and 11. If you are going to walk with God, you must bury the past. Yeah. Let, it Let it go. Only God can do that. Amen. He can take it out of your mind. Yes. Then you got to forgive those who have hurt you. It's hard. But you got to let it go. Including yourself. Which sometimes is our worst enemy. Then when you forgive those that have done you wrong, it's time to move on with God. Don't even touch those old dead issues anymore. Mm -hmm. Let the past be buried. The issue is not whether you remember, but how you remember. God is able to take the sting out of the memory and still leave the sweet taste of victory intact. Can't nobody do it like the Lord. Nobody. Before you decide to reach for more, remember, God's watching you with what you already have. Mm. What are you doing with that? Mm. It's in the day of small beginnings that he teaches you patience and consistency. <coughs> he teaches you to handle the pressures that accompany his blessings. How many know things are going to come with what God gives you? Amen. You must be qualified before you are promoted. Mm -hmm. Some of us want to be promoted, but we don't, we're not doing nothing with what he already gave us. Mm -hmm. You got to be qualified before you are promoted. Not after, not doing, but before. If anyone does not know how to manage his own family, how can he take care of God's own? Okay. Yeah, you can't do it. The word tells us. And we find that in 1 Timothy 3 and 5. If you can't handle a small area, don't ask God to enlarge your territory. You can't handle what he already gives you. What you want more for. If you want to know who God will use, look at Philip. He began as a deacon. Waiting on tables and doing whatever had to be done in the church. When he had proven himself faithful, he was made an evangelist. He was able to go out and evangelize when he proved himself, not until. And he took Samaria for God. Why? Because he proved himself. Listen to the test he had to pass. Choose several men from among you who are to be full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. 
You'll find that in Acts 6 and 3. Full of what? The Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost. They got to be there. Yes. Then comes wisdom. Mm -hmm. Are you known to be full of the Spirit? David said, I have been anointed no. with fresh oil. Yeah. That's in Psalms 92 and 10. Your anointing must be fresh every day. Every day. Not one day, but every day. Yes. That means time out and time alone with the Lord. Yes. It is God's job to baptize you, but it is your job to stay filled with the Spirit. Amen. And that's according to Ephesians 5 and 18. Barry, Barry, Barry the, uh, Barry the past and move on yeah. if you want to be qualified. Mm -hmm. And what about wisdom? You can have lots of knowledge, uh -oh. but no wisdom. Mm. Knowledge can be gained from a book. But wisdom comes from walking with God. Amen. Can't get it no other way. If you don't walk with God, you ain't got wisdom. My Lord. Come to me. This is what Jesus is saying. Come to me. Learn of me. Then you can walk in my scriptures. You'll find that in Matthew 11, 28 and 29. No longer will you be limited by what you have been through. We all been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Instead, you'll be enriched by what you've learned, by what you've gone through. And that's according to Romans 8 and 28. You must do both. Your future depends on it. Take some time today and get along with God. That's the only way we can bear the past and move on if we want to be qualified. Bury the past and move on if you want to be qualified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only God can qualify you. Amen. Man can't do it. No matter what they say, what they do, man cannot qualify you. Yeah. We can teach you, you can receive, or you can reject. But it's time to bury the past and move on. Yeah. Then we will be qualified. Mm -hmm. Many times we teach in classes. We want every student to obtain wisdom. Mm -hmm. Understand where we're coming from. Yes. But only God can give you that understanding. Amen. You got to have the spirit of God. Amen. Once you get the spirit of God, you won't let go of that past. Mm -hmm. And you won't seek God. Yes. That you will be qualified. Amen. To do whatever he wants you to do. Amen. It's time for us to forget about the past. Mm -hmm. Move on. Yes. That's the only way God will qualify us. Amen. Walk in the newness of life. Yes. And it's strange that it gives the life of Philip. Mm -hmm. He was a deacon. Yes. But yet he did. Not only the deacons were, he proved himself there. Mm -hmm. But after that, he went out and began to evangelize. Yes. You can't, how was he going to evangelize if he didn't know what he was talking about? Amen. You got to have the Lord yourself. Amen.
before you can give him up, introduce him to somebody else. Man. I remember my mom telling me one time, it's good to have a testimony. Mm -hmm. But it's better yeah. if you are the testimony. Mm -hmm. Bear the past. Mm -hmm. Move on. Yes. And get qualified. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get qualified, when you do, see a lot of times we think positions keep us from doing things. Mm -hmm. How many know the higher the position you get? The lower it brings you. It humbles you. Yes. Give you humility yes. that you can humble yourself before God. Mm -hmm. Some of us got that false pride. Mm -hmm. We think we're more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Lift it up. Mm -hmm. But my word tell me pride come what? Before fall. When you get so much pride in you, you better find that altar. You better make an altar wherever you are. Humble yourself before the Almighty. Yes. Ask Him to help you. Yes. You don't need nobody to help you do nothing. You know everything. Mm. When you get in that spirit or in that frame of mind, yes. you already lost. So we say, it's time to bury the jump, the garbage, the yes. hearsay, yes. the hurt, yes. the shame. Bury it and move on Amen. so God can qualify you for a better position. Amen. And when God qualifies you, can't no man take you down. Thank you. He'll talk about you. But guess what? God gives you that frame of mind. It doesn't even bother you. Amen. So we say to you today, bury the things that's not like God. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. It's time to be qualified Amen. if you want to move on. Amen. God bless you. Those are not words. 
if you need an assurance that you are a child of God, you have been born again, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things, the buried up things, the things that you let go, the things that were holding you back, the things that were confusing you, old things are passed away. And all things become new. And if you're the one that got off the path, you can come back. And we pray that you come back. You know how to get back. You know the way. Lord, here am I. Accept me back. Amen. And we thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. We thank welcome you to the royal family. Amen. And we pray that God will lead you to a Bible teaching, Bible preaching, but most of all, a Bible living church home that you can receive the rest of the instruction that you need to live this righteous and holy life. God bless you, and we love you. Amen. Amen. In the hands of our deacons, amen.